Hello and welcome to another Zero webinar for small businesses. Today's topic is identifying your top income clients in Zero. So first of all, why would I want to know who my top income clients are? Um, a number of reasons you might just want to know. Um, it's also a, a really great idea to know who your top clients are. Maybe it's Christmas time and you want to make sure that your top income clients are valued. So you might send them you know, a Christmas gift. Um, or you may want to just build trust to so start understanding, you know, who the clients you were speaking to the most, who the clients are that you're obviously getting the most out of, whether it's more referrals or most money. Um, are you trying to find more referrals? So you might be trying to find who your top income clients are and wanting to ask them if they can refer any clients to you. Um, or, of course, are you trying to identify even maybe the clients that you may not be getting the most income from and you're trying to upsell? Because statistically, it's actually a lot easier um, to make money through selling to existing customers uh, rather than trying to find new leads or referrals. There are a number of reasons why you should uh, be on top of your top income clients. Um, obviously, it's not to say you're not treating your other clients any differently, but obviously um, you do want to hold on to these top income clients because obviously you will feel it if they do decide to move on from you and move on to someone else um, or you start dropping that income for whatever reason. So really important to understand um, obviously your business and the clients coming through um, and obviously who the top income clients are. So how do we find this in Xero? So what we're going to do is open up your Xero file. You're going to actually go into the accounting tab and reports. This report has been recently updated, but I am going to show you the new one uh, because I believe soon the old version is actually going to disappear. But you want to try to find the income by contact. I find it easiest just to search it. Um, income by, oh, sorry, not the old version, income and expenses by contact. You can do this by month and you can compare, but what I'm going to do is last month, I'm going to compare it with the last three months and then I'm actually going to filter this. By filtering it by type, you're going to select income only. Otherwise, you'll see all your expenses are in and it makes the report a bit harder, uh, I guess, to read, especially for what we're trying to achieve. So by doing last month, comparing with the last three months and filtering it by income, when I update that, it's actually going to highlight every single um, contact, uh, I guess, every single client that I've received income from in the last couple of months. Obviously, I have no data in for October, um, but you can see January, December and November. Um, so straight away, you can already see this one he right here. Um, this particular client, I receive a lot of income from compared to obviously the once off um, here and there kind of clients. Um, but then you can also see patterns. So for example, with Port Phillip Freight, um, obviously, I'm quite consistent with them. So this is obviously going to be a relationship I want to keep continuing um, and potentially on sell and grow. Uh, but it's really just identifying those patterns and going, how can I keep this trust with this client? How can I keep this relationship going? Or how can I improve it? Um, you might notice a pattern where, you know, you might find it's here and there. So I can't really find one here, but you might find, for example, Bayside Club might be once off in January, once off in October. Um, again, how can I improve that relationship with them? Um, you can sort by the most um, revenue as well, but obviously that goes by the month. So already when I start to sort, you can see who the highest um, customers were for the month. Uh, so, for example, this one I kind of skipped over before, but now I can see this particular client that sent me, you know, a decent amount um, in the month of November as well. So really being able to identify these, I think, are really a great strength for business owners to have um, and how they can improve um, the relationships with their current uh, customers. Um, but just to touch on though, because obviously we are in an income and expenses report, a really great idea is also to run that report whilst you're in there for expenses, because you might actually identify there are some expenses in there that you go, I did not realise I spent so much money on, or potentially how can I um, reduce that moving forward. So for example, I can scroll down, obviously there's going to be some in there that are consistent. So for example, your zero subscription, that should be quite steady. Um, but for example, you might find in there, um, obviously some are important to have in there and you might not be able to reduce them, um, but you might be able to find uh, certain expenses in there that you can potentially reduce. So, for example, a really great one is, for example, even um, I just saw one before. Say it's your net connect. Say this was your actual your internet uh, bill every month. If you notice it kind of creeping up really high, is it something that you can contact the company and say, hey, do you have a better rate? Or maybe it's time to start exploring your options elsewhere and going, is there a better rate around me? 
um, a really great report to run to make sure you are on top of, I guess, your top income clients, but also are you on top of your expenses as well? And did you realise you're spending so much with particular people? Um, yes, obviously, there's advantage with spending a lot of money with certain people. So, for example, you know, your marketing team, so say the smart agency was also your marketing agency, you're going to want to be spending um money with them if they're generating the money back to you as well. So just wanted to highlight that um, because there's obviously advantages of this report for both sides, um, but really a great report to run to understand who your top income clients are. Uh, that kind of concludes today's how-to video. Do remember to like and subscribe. We do have a lot of great other YouTube videos out on our channel. So whether that be other zero how-tos or uh, anything around business, investing and your financial wealth as well. If you have any questions, these are our contact details up on the screen. You can reach us at Smart Business Solutions. Thank you.